Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I want to update my Chili's bottle review. I did a Chili's bottle review as one of my first ever review videos on YouTube and it done really really well with over 6,000 views which I think is amazing as a small YouTuber but I cringe every time I watch it. There's so many things that I wish I said differently and did differently and I put music for it so you can't really hear what I'm saying so I have learned a lot in my year on YouTube so I thought I would make a new one and this is actually around the time that I posted it last year so it's kind of perfect. Before we jump right into this video I would love to have you as a subscriber so please do consider pushing that button somewhere down there or there. Okay, so I'm not really wanting to start with the cons, but I want to let you guys know the most important parts first because not everybody makes it to the end of the video and that's okay. So basically, Chili's bottles can be prone to thermal shock, which means that they will stop working. My recommended advice to totally avoid that is before you put cold water in it, run it, run it under the cold tap, and before you put hot water in it, run it under the hot tap, just so that it's that bit warmed up. Because if you've just rinsed it with cold water and then you pour hot water in, that's when the thermal shock is more likely to happen, and it just is not very fun and it's a waste. So that hasn't happened to me, but I have been looking at ways of preventing it, and I've now had my Chili's bottle for over a year, and it's still going fine and I do this every time I use it, so I think it's a good a good bit that it works. And the other only real con is that it does scratch quite easily. I've dropped mine a couple of times and been really worried about it, but thankfully all that's happened is it's scratched up the pretty print. As soon as I got one, my husband started to steal my water, so I bought him one. We went for the chrome one with him, and this one scratches even easier, but it comes with its own like little protective pouch, and it definitely helps to keep it non-scratched. We did like get a couple of scratches at first, because we weren't going to use this, we thought it was just for a display, but it genuinely does keep your bottle from being scratched up and if you don't mind it's not too bad but they have brought out so many new products and different things you can now get your bottle personalized I know there's a white glittery right. one there's just so many different options now on the Chili's website and it's definitely worth checking out I things I love the most about my Chili's bottle is it really does keep your water cold for 24 hours and your other drinks hot for 12 I put my water in the fridge and then I pour it into my Chili's bottle and then I use my favorite ice cubes tray which is a Another hack, if you get the Poundland ice cube trays, they fit your Chili's bottle neck perfectly, which means you don't have to crush up your ice before you put it in your bottle. And it just means that you can pop them over the top and pop them right into your bottle. It makes life so much easier. So there's another little hack for you. Go and get yourself some Poundland ice cube trays. You can also pick them up on Cherries as well, which is an online version of B&M, Home Bargains, Poundland, Pound Stretcher. I have a haul in my video. I will link it in the eye for you so you can check that out if you want to. But anyway, moving on. If your water goes in the bottle cold enough and you add enough ice, you'll have ice cubes in your bottle for like hours. I mean hours. Like I would put it in at night time and wake up and the ice would still be the same size. So that is something that I find really, really cool is that it genuinely keeps ice. So if it's a really hot day and you wake up in the middle of the night or whatever and it's just hot, you can crunch on some ice if you really want to and I just love that option. Another great thing about my Chili's bottle is it doesn't get condensation on the outside. There is nothing worse than putting a bottle of water from the fridge in your bag just for it to get all wet and ruin anything that's in your bag this used to happen to me all the time at school which is not cool but thankfully the Chili's bottle does not do this it is amazing another thing I love about the Chili's bottle is it keeps sparkling water fizzy which is amazing most of the time when you move sparkling water into another kind of bottle it just like goes wrong it'll start like having gas explosions or whatever but this way I can have sparkling water and it'll be nice and cold with ice in it all throughout the day and it doesn't go flat which is amazing and I just I think my favorite thing about the chili another hack for you all is I found these brushes on Amazon it is a two pack and they're cheaper than it would be to buy the Chili's cleaning brush and it's the perfect size to clean inside the Chili's bottle and the little brush is the perfect size to clean around that lid which is really hard to get into to clean I love that they come in different sizes now that I have one I sometimes wish I maybe went for the bigger size because the size that I have is the same size as a bottle of water but it's not though because if I pour a full bottle of 500ml of water it will come all the way up to the neck and you can't put the lid on so it's not completely the 500ml you do have to like drink it a bit so it's maybe like 490ml instead but it still is perfect I do think that I could have maybe benefited from a bigger one as once your water runs out if you're out and about you've not really got anywhere else to top it up unless you're like at work and they provide freezing cold water or something like that so that's one thing to think about is 
is it worth getting the bigger size? Will it fit in your little pouch in your bag? It's really up to you. You can have two if you want, one in either pouch. <laughs> I think that's it for this Chili's bottle review. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to have you as a subscriber, so please do consider pushing that button down below. I'm on my journey to 1,000 guys, and I'm getting there, and I feel great about it. And if you want to join them, you know what you got to do. <laughs> and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys. Take care.